Why did the rich man put his money in the freezer? Because he wanted cold hard cash. Welcome to our channel, where we make finance fun. If you haven't already, hit that subscribe button and let's dive into today's topic. We're peeling back the layers on one of the most intriguing aspects of our financial world. The disparities between rich and poor earnings. It's a journey filled with surprises, insights, and a dash of humor. Ready to unveil the disparities between the haves and have-nots? Then stick around! Ever notice how the rich seem to have a private school at every corner? That's disparity number 10, access to education. For those with lower incomes, access to quality education may be more like a maze than a straight path. And it's not just about geography, it's about resources, opportunities, and support systems. This disparity can seriously limit their earning potential. Because let's face it, in our society, knowledge is power, and power translates into earnings. So better education, better earnings. Makes sense, right? Ever heard of a poor man giving investment advice? Me neither. Disparity number nine, financial literacy. The rich often have the upper hand in understanding the intricate dance of money. They know how to make it twirl and spin, increasing their wealth through smart investments. This financial literacy isn't just a perk, it's a necessity, a tool that helps them navigate the complex world of finance. The poor, unfortunately, often lack this knowledge, leaving them on the sidelines. Remember, knowledge is power, especially when it comes to money. Why do rich people love the stock market? Because it's the only market where everything is always on sale. Disparity number eight, savings and investments. The wealthy have the means to save a significant portion of their income, while the less affluent often live paycheck to paycheck. Furthermore, the rich are able to invest their savings into stocks, bonds, real estate, and other ventures, which can generate substantial returns over time. So that's how the rich get richer, one investment at a time. Why don't rich people play hide and seek? Because nobody will hide from them. Disparity number seven, income stability. It's a game changer, folks. Imagine a life where your income is as predictable as the sunrise. No surprises, no sudden dips. That's what we call income stability. And it's a luxury that's more common among the wealthy. It's like having a safety net under your financial high wire act. Stable income, less stress. Seems fair, doesn't it? Why did the rich man never play Monopoly? He hates imaginary debt. Disparity number six, debt management. Rich folks have a knack for managing debt. They treat it like a tool, not a trap. They're not afraid to borrow, but they do so strategically. They invest in assets that generate income while staying on top of repayment schedules. They understand the value of good credit and use it to their advantage. Remember, not all debt is bad, but it's all about managing it. Why do rich people love roller coasters? They can handle the ups and downs. Disparity number five, risk tolerance. The wealthy often have a greater stomach for financial risk. This boldness allows them to dive into ventures that might seem too risky for the average person, but with this risk comes the potential for high returns. They're not afraid to lose some to win more. It's a game of financial bravery, where the brave often reap the rewards. So, high risk, high reward. Got it? Why do rich people love April? It's tax return season. Disparity number four, tax planning. The wealthy often have access to top-notch tax planning resources. These experts help them navigate the complex world of taxes, identifying opportunities to save and reduce their tax bills. They know the ins and outs of tax laws and they use this knowledge to the rich's advantage. This means more money stays in their pockets and less goes to the taxman. So, good tax planning equals more money in the bank, noted. Why do rich people love Monopoly? They get to buy all the property. Disparity number three, real estate ownership. When it comes to holding assets, the wealthy often have a significant portion tied up in real estate. These properties, whether residential, commercial, or investment, consistently appreciate over time, contributing to their growing wealth. Moreover, owning multiple properties allows them to generate income via rent, further expanding their fortunes. So, the more property you own, the richer you are. Simple, right? Why do rich people never put all their eggs in one basket? They prefer a diversified omelet. Disparity number two, diversified income streams. The wealthy understand the beauty of multiple income streams. It's like having a choir of cash, each note playing a different yet harmonious part. If one stream dries up, another's already flowing. It's a financial symphony, a money-making melody ensuring their wealth doesn't skip a beat. Multiple income streams, multiple ways to get rich. Interesting. What's the biggest difference between the rich and the poor? It's all in the mind. Disparity number one, mindset. The wealthy see money as a tool, 
not a goal. They understand that wealth is not an accident, but the result of intentional planning and disciplined action. The rich don't fear failure, instead they embrace it as a stepping stone to success. On the other hand, the poor often view money with a scarcity mindset, leading to fear and inaction. So change your mind, change your wealth. Powerful, isn't it? Isn't. So, there you have it, the 10 key disparities between rich and poor earnings. From the mindset, diversified income streams, all the way to access to education, these disparities are not just about the digits in a bank account, but the strategies and choices behind them. They can guide us on our own financial journey. So let's take these insights and apply them to our own lives. Remember to hit the like button if you found this video insightful. And subscribe for more finance fun. Until next time, keep those financial goals in sight.